begin with breaking news tonight. We have learned that Xerox is splitting into two companies. The company expected to make this announcement tomorrow. I'm Janet Lomax. And I'm Scott Kilbury. We're told the company would split into separate hardware and services companies. Lynette Adams spoke to a financial analyst about what this could mean for Xerox's 6,500 local employees as well as the many retirees and shareholders here. Lynette. Well, Scott and Jenna, the news out late this afternoon is not looking good for the Rochester community. We spoke with George Conboy, who is the president of Brighton Securities, and he is telling us that it looks very likely that Xerox will split into two companies, leaving Legacy Xerox or the copier business here in Webster. The other half would be the services business. This portion of the business was just purchased about five years ago and provides services like processing Medicaid claims and collecting tolls at toll booths. The whole idea behind the split would be to make the services company more profitable. The problem, Convoy says, the copier business has not been growing in the last decade. The copier business has been shrinking. Depending on how it goes, we could see job losses and ultimately some closures here. So then the copier business will stay here. We won't get any of the services business. There is some small service business in Rochester, but the bulk of it is copiers. We don't expect to see that services business coming into Rochester in any meaningful way. Right now, Xerox is the fourth largest employer in Monroe County with about 6,500 workers, most of them here in Webster, but that is all due or subject to change. Scott? Uh, Lynette, uh, does Convoy think the copier business could become obsolete? Not really. He says that there will be a copier market uh, to some degree, but certainly not enough to keep that company alone as the fourth largest employer in our area. All right, Lynette Adams reporting live. Thank you. Of course, we'll continue to follow this breaking news and have a financial analyst once again in the studio at 7 o'clock. We'll answer your questions. Email what you want to know to news10 at whc.com.